Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. I thought I'd put together a quick uh, comparison between the uh, Kindle Oasis and the uh, Kindle uh, Voyage. So, the Kindle Voyage was Amazon's first premium e reader. It was released back in 2014. Uh, it's only available used now, so uh, this is kind of a pointless comparison, but lots of people always want to know uh, how newer models compare to the Voyage because the Voyage had the clearest text of any Kindle. Uh, also has like the wider background, so it's got really good contrast. Uh, no other Kindle has been able to match since, including the Oasis 3, but it's uh, just sort of a minor thing here. I'll show you a little bit more in the direct sunlight. doesn't show up on the camera as much as I'd like, but you know, um, the main difference here with the Oasis 3, of course, is the warm front light. So uh, it's the first Kindle to have the warm front light. You can go in and adjust the color, uh, make it a little bit yellow if you want, a little bit more orange if you'd like. So that's definitely the biggest advantage with the Oasis. Uh, the Voyage kind of had a little bit of an iffy front light. Some of them had some color blotches and some different color tones. This one actually has a pretty good front light, though it's not perfect. Um, but yeah, so the Oasis, they've added a lot of new features since the Voyage released. Of course, you got um, the waterproof design. It's got more storage space. Um, it's got that aluminum back, so the Oasis has more of the traditional design. So here's a look in direct sunlight. Sorry about the shaky camera, but it's impossible to move the whole setup outside. But uh, and when you're in direct sunlight, you can kind of see the difference in the ink screens just a little bit more. Uh, again, it doesn't show up on the camera as much as I thought it would, but uh, texture is a little bit darker. It's got more of a, like, a, it just seems kind of like the screen is higher resolution on the uh, Kindle Voyage. Um, when you're looking at it in person up close, it just has a sharper, clearer quality to it. Something about the screen that's just a little bit different. So here's just sort of a couple of different font sizes. So right here I have boldness increased by one level on the Oasis, so it looks thicker. Um, but still, um, the it text has a darker quality to it on the Voyage. Uh, same here, you got the same exact setup, just a little bit darker on the Voyage. Uh, but obviously, it's not hard to read on the Oasis at all. It's just weird how Amazon sort of peaked with their screens like in 2014, and they haven't gone back to uh, the same sort of clarity since. Maybe whatever they did to the screen layer to allow more light to pass through had some sort of effect on the front light, because front lights have definitely approved since the Voyage was released. Uh, but again, it's just, uh, you know, it's one of those things. People like the uh, clear screen zone when it comes to reading devices. Um, as far as the hardware, you know, on the Oasis, you got the physical buttons. And on the Voyage, it's got those page press sensors. And they have this haptic feedback. There's uh, settings in the, you can adjust in the menu to how much haptic feedback there is. Or you can turn it off. And then, of course, the Vo Oasis has the regular page buttons. And uh, the Oasis has a completely different design where it's thicker on one side and thin on the other. Uh, which makes it quite a bit wider with the page buttons on the side. So that's the biggest negative for me with the Oasis is it just doesn't fit very comfortably in a pocket. Uh, the uh, Voyage is a lot more comfortable to like slide in your pocket, take it with you. Uh, the design's a lot different on the back, as you can see, with the Oasis having that edge, and you can kind of see the handle there. The, the Voyage had more of a traditional design, a little bit tapered edges. Uh, so as far as the software goes, they're pretty much the same, but there's a couple of differences with the newer devices. Like they have the disabled touchscreen. Uh, I wish they had that on the Voyage, actually, because it's easy to... Uh, accidentally touch the screen and um, another thing with the uh, newer models they have the Bluetooth for uh, voice view and audiobooks uh, they do not have that on the old away or the old model the old voyage uh, and then of course you got the warmth schedule with the warm screen you can set the warmth to trigger automatically uh, and then you got that voice view screen reader you can use via Bluetooth uh, it's kind of like text-to-speech but um, it's an accessibility feature uh, then another thing with the uh, newer models, this is an accessibility feature as well, the black uh, background with white text. So they don't have that on the older models. It's just on the new Paperweight and the uh, Oasis 2 and 3. So another minor difference with the Oasis, you just got a couple of different options here in the settings to accommodate uh, larger screens. If you want to have a larger UI, you can have larger text, stuff like that. But, you know, as far as the overall operating, they're both very similar speed-wise. Um, one's a little bit faster sometimes, the other one's a little bit faster sometimes, but... Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I just kind of wanted to show you guys quickly sort of the difference with the screen mostly on these devices. It, again, doesn't show up on the camera as much as I thought it would. But um, the front light too, you know, you got the warm front light with the Oasis, definitely a big difference. And then uh, the changes with design, not a whole lot of difference with the software, but there are a few additional features on uh, the Oasis now with the newer software. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the ebookreader.com for full reviews. Bye.